Carol from the Sewing Basket and Plymouth, Wisconsin, and I'm back with the second part of my presentation for some of the items that we're going to have available uh, for your gift giving or gift receiving for Santa's workshop. Remember that anything that you fill out your form and you have us send that to friends or family or, or acquaintances, um, you will receive, they will, they will receive a 15% discount for any items you put on there. And also, it's not limited to just what we're showing you. We're just giving you some ideas or, or reminders of products that we love or new things that we found. But you can really put anything in the shop that you like, that, that you would like to receive potentially for Christmas. Um, just remember that if you want something very specific to make sure to note that. If you just put, oh, uh, you know, a book by a specific author, we don't know exactly which one you want. So just help them know exactly what you can give us get what exactly you want to receive so that we can help them get the right item all right so the first thing i'm going to talk about today is uh, a new product for or a new ruler for an older project so a lot of people have been making the bowl koozies <clears throat> for in the microwave right it helps to keep your hands from getting burnt when you take things in and out of the microwave and creative grid rulers has come up with a a two-part ruler for making it. So you can make the small one with the center of the ruler, or you can make the larger one with the outside. So it comes as this two-part set. So the smaller inside is gonna make this, which again is for your more of a cereal bowl type um, koozie. And this one is gonna be for the bigger serving bowl, okay? And they've also teamed up, Creative Grids teamed up with the Gypsy Quilter Company to have some pre-cut batting to go along with their ruler. So the way the system works is you take a square of fabric or square batting if you don't have or don't want to purchase the pre-cut ones. You take the square according to the ruler, whichever size you want. You fold that square in half in both directions and then so this is the larger one and then when you lay that ruler on there it's going to give you your cutting along that ruler to get the same shape okay so you're just going to be cutting off that corner you're going to be rounding off this corner and going up the side so that way you can do it with your batting and then you can do the same thing with your fabric and now all of your pieces match up okay so that it comes in the large size. It also comes in the smaller size for the smaller cereal bowl in the pre-cut. Um, or if you want to cut your own, we also have the Wrap and Zap, which is meant for microwave projects. If, you, if you're doing microwave stuff, you have to be very, very careful that you don't have any polyester in the fabric or in the thread, okay? We had, we had a situation, it was kind of my fault. She said, oh, it, it was a cotton plus thread. Well, the plus meant there was a little coating to help keep it from fuzzing. And I, I assumed it was okay because it was 100% cotton. I didn't realize the plus meant that coating was on there. And she made a koozie, she put it in her microwave, and all of a sudden there's you know funky things happening inside her microwave. So if you ever want to do these and you're not sure, do a test. Take some of the fabric, cut a corner of it off, take some of the thread you plan on using, put them in a bowl, put them in your microwave, make sure that it's not going to start smoking, start sparking, start on fire, okay? Um, so that is the pre-cut batting and the rulers for the bowl koozie. Um, there also is a new one by Gypsy Quilter meant for the pre-cut for more of a uh, serving casserole dish. This one does not have a ruler, but the instructions in there for cutting um, your fabric are, are in there with it. So that would just be a larger size one. Maybe not necessarily for putting in the microwave, but for serving it on the table if the dish is still hot. Okay. Along with that, the other thing that talking about making sure that you have that 100% cotton thread. If you have different threads and, you know, as sewers, we have lots of different stuff in our drawers to make sure that you're keeping your, your bobbins matched up with your thread. So this is 100% Mettler. I know it's 100% cotton because it's a purple spool, 
okay? The red spools are my polyester, my purple spools are my cotton. And I wound a bobbin to go with it, but once I'm done with the project, and all of a sudden you have all these bobbins that you don't know what's what. So they, Gypsy, uh, Gypsy Quilters have these little bobbin, bobbini bobbin holders. And so they look like this. Okay, and they just stick into the end of your spool. And then you can put your bobbin on top. And now you know that, okay, this is my cotton thread. And I know that this is a spool that got spun off of that thread. So I'm going to keep them together. The other thing, if you don't want these little guys, we have the bobbin savers. And again, if you have two different color savers, so we, they come in red, purple, and blue. If you have one for your polyester or multi um, th threads and one that is specifically for your cotton threads, you'll know that anything in my red bobbin is cotton and anything in my blue bobbin saver is going to be polyester or non-cotton thread. Okay, so you just want to make sure to keep yourself um, coordinated with that because you want to keep yourself and anybody you would gift them to safe. So then the other thing we have, the next thing we're going to go through is just some of my favorites, right? Cheryl's sewing room. And I've talked about some of these things in the past, but it's always a good reminder because they are my go-to products at home. Um, first of all, I have my 120 inch measuring tape. And a lot of you are probably laughing because I talk about this all the time. It is my goal for every quilter to have one of these tapes in their house and for every quilter to use it, okay? Um, if you watch my presentation on the table runner, I talked about laying those two blocks and measuring in between to determine the length of the fabric for your for the length of your table runner. If it's more than 24 inches, which is your standard ruler, it's great to have one of these tapes. The other thing that it really helps us when you're coming into purchasing borders or binding or backing if you have your quilt measured before you come into the shop. We can make it it's so much easier on us to make sure you get the right amount of fabric if you know exactly how big your quilt is before you come in. And it doesn't have to be to the quarter inch. I'm talking rough, you know, it's 72 by 80 or it's, you know, 99 by 112, okay? But that just gives us a better idea of how much fabric you're going to need for your project. <clears throat> um, the next thing I have is my favorite seam ripper. This is the Clover Seam Ripper. It's just got a really fine, sharp point. It's got a nice size handle. You know, the little ones that come with your machine are fine, but they're hard to grip and the point is not real sharp and it's kind of fat and it's hard to get it underneath. So this sharp point is gonna get under the tiniest of stitches and really help you get, um, your projects apart when you need to. Uh, Gypsy Quilter also came out with these little short, fat, and stubby um, screwdrivers. Sometimes when you're trying to get underneath between your needle and the bottom of your machine, underneath in that arm area, your, all your, your screwdrivers can just be too tall to get underneath there. So this is just a good source. It has the regular and the Phillips head. Uh, we got our little four inch scissors and they're a great deal. They're only $4.99. Um, and then if you, we have the separate sh scissor sheath to go with them, a variety of colors just to keep yourself protected. If you end up having it in your purse or in, you know, in a box where you're reaching your hand into and you don't want to poke yourself. So it's a great little set, um, a little gift, you know, they're each $4.99. So it's that great under $10 gift giving if you want to do something like that. Uh, the next thing I have, Gypsy Quilter has been coming out with a lot of new products this year, and most of their things are purple because that's their colors. So this is their um, wool pin cushion. So it's boiled wool pin cushion. And then in here I have some of the different hot pins. Again, these have been, I've, I've really learned to enjoy these pins over the last um, year. They have the silicone heads. So that, here, huh, I shouldn't have wore a black shirt today. Um, they have the silicone heads. So even if you have them in your um, project and you iron, you can iron right over them. And 
these two have, so you can see one of them, the pink one is a little bit longer. This is where the blue one ends. So the, the pink one is probably a good quarter inch longer than the blue one. And the shaft is just a little heavier. So if you're going through some thicker um, materials, it's a good pin for that. And then Gypsy Quilter came out with their version of it, which is the, the shorter pin, but it actually has a little bit heavier shaft. And they have the purple top on it, but it is also going to be um, iron safe, iron friendly. And then they also came out with a flat pin that has numbers on one side and letters on the other. So when you're trying to um, either mark your blocks or mark your pieces, you got some information on your pin to help keep you organized. So those are a few of the new pins um, and the new pin holder. Gypsy Quilter also came out with um, a little wrist magnetic pin holder so you know I tend to be pulling my pins out and laying them all over the place and they're falling on the floor um, so this is kind of a slap band so you can put it right on your wrist and as you're pulling your pins out of your project you can just stick them right onto here and the magnet will hold them so it keeps everybody uh, including your husband and your pet a little safer from pins falling on the floor and going in their feet um, and then the last thing here, if you don't have the pins for marking your project, there is the letters that you can pin on with a safety pin to your blocks or your rows to keep yourself organized as you're sewing your projects together. Okay. And then a few other things we have. A lot of you have um, the wool mats and they work great, but they do get fuzzy and your threads and different things get stuck to them. So we found two products. One of them is by, again, Gypsy Quilter. And this is, it doesn't roll, but it's kind of a, a barbed little, um, it looks like a roller, but it doesn't move. And you just drag it across and it's going to pick up all of those little threads and things that are stuck on your mat. If you want something a little bit um, smaller, we found these little thread pickers. You just put it on your hand, and again, you can rub it on here. It's going to pick up all the threads off of your mat. It's also great for your clothes. If you've been sewing all day and you have to go out to uh, the grocery shopping and you don't want to carry all your threads with you, it's a great way to, to wipe down your, your sweater or your shirt also. And then the last thing Gypsy Quilter came out with this year is um, a design wall. So a lot of you, when you're trying to, to design a quilt or you're trying to lay it out and stand back and look at it, you just don't have a place to go. So this is a wall that you can use any form of hanger that you choose. You can either pin it to some styrofoam and just lean it up against the wall. You can put a rod up and clip it up, but it's, it's kind of, it's, it's rough and it's sticky and your fabric will stick to it. So for anybody that's looking for a design wall option, this is something that they just came out with. Um, and oh, also my uh, machine cleaning sticks, brushes. Um, you know, again, they one pack will last you most of a lifetime. They're reusable, but the little white ends on here, they're almost kind of like Velcro. So in between your projects, take that, that plate off, take your um, bobbin case out and try to clean underneath that. It'll make a world of difference in your stitching and the quality of your stitches if you keep that fuzz and lint as clean as you can out of your bobbin case. So these are just something that everybody should have in their sewing room. The next thing I have is gonna be a variety of rulers. Okay. And so, We've got some new things and some, some favorite things again. Um, one of the things we're going to start carrying is going to be the, the block block rulers for the half square triangles. So we're going to have two sets, the two, four, and six finished square up, and then the uh, one, three, and five set for finishing. Um, you have to have a ruler for every size that you want, but we're going to be starting to stock these sets for now. Um, then we have 
the Perfect 10 ruler. And this one, I'm going to put paper behind it. It's really great for squaring up because it has less lines on it. it. Your lines are basically your one inch and your half inch. So it's very seldom that you need to try to square up to, you know, one and, and three a square, okay? So this just has less lines, so it's a little easier to see when you're um, doing your squaring. Creative Grids has also come out with two more of their left-hand rulers. So last year we had the six and a half by 24 and the 12 by 12. And this year they added in the six inch square and the six by 12. Okay. So for those of you that have been quilting a long time that are left-handed and you're used to the rulers you have, that's fine. Um, but if you're new to quilting or you know somebody that you're getting and they are left-handers, starting out your quilting, career with a left-handed ruler will just make your life so much easier for that type of thing. And then, of course, I have to talk about my favorite ruler, the Quick Trim and Circle Ruler. Um, again, I just cannot talk enough about this ruler. It just fits the size of your hand. You know, sometimes when you're trying to square things up or cut small things and you have a six-inch ruler, you know, women's hands just aren't as big and it's hard to grip them. But yet, trying to use a long ruler can be cumbersome too. So this one is just the perfect size. It's three and a half wide by 12 and a half long. And it's just that go-to ruler for, you know, I'll cut a strip, but then I need to chop it up into smaller pieces and I'm always hunting for this one. So that's just my favorite ruler. Um, then another new product we have is the folded corner clipper. There's the large and the small. So this one will go up to four inches. This one will go up to 10 inches. So they do the same thing. It just gives you more options with the larger one. And what that one does is whenever you're taking and doing a snowball, so kind of our little pattern on the table here where I had a snowball, the corners where you, you, you aren't drawing the line and sewing on either side, you're actually sewing corner to corner. But with this one, I'm going to take when I put that corner on there, right? And instead of just sewing it, I'm going to take that ruler, I'm going to line it up on here, and oops, maybe going this way, and I'm going to cut. So I'm going to be sitting at my at my sewing machine. I'm going to have this on there. I'm going to have my ruler. I'm going to cut. And then I can just take my small piece, run it through my sewing machine, take my large piece, run it through my sewing machine. And what that does is it gives you your your little half square triangles are already sewn at the end of your project. So this one that's on the table in front of me, we were sewing those corners that we cut off as we were making it, okay? So I ended up with this whole pile of half square triangles that are already sewn together and I can create a new little project with them. Um, Again, those of you that know me, I do prefer to cut and then sew rather than deal with, with the lines or the eyeballing. I just feel I'm more accurate. So this is a ruler that would help you with those methods. Um, I've been, my rulers I've been showing have been in our little ruler rack here. Um, we carried them years ago and we had kind of stopped carrying them. And then in our beginner classes, we have them down on our cutting tables in our classroom. And a lot of people were asking about them. So again, for, if you don't have a place to hang your rulers on the wall, it's just a great freestanding, um, you know, there's five, five or six slots in here and just about any ruler will fit in there. And you can have your little ones in front, bigger ones in the back. Um, and the last ruler I have to talk about is the Big Easy, which is now 12 and a half wide by 24 long. So you're needing to do those, you know, I need to cut a, 12 inch border or something. Anytime you can use your ruler versus your mat for cutting, it will always give you a more accurate cut. So having a little bit bigger ruler where Elaine loves a 20 by 20 square, which is great for, for certain projects. However, this one gives you four extra inches and it's not quite as wide, so it's not quite as cumbersome for cutting strips rather than squaring up. Um, and then this little project product 
is called the magnifying lens set. And what it is, is there's two little discs in here. And when you set them onto your ruler, it's going to magnify the intersection that you're looking at. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on there. Okay. So if I'm, if I'm having difficulty, say I'm squaring up or doing something, I'm having difficulty finding the exact intersection, you can just lay this little magnifier right on your ruler and it's going to help you see where the corner of those products need to fit right into. So there's a big one and then there's a small one if you have, if you're dealing with a smaller ruler. Okay. And then the last thing I have is just a few little gift items, you know, just fun things. Um, Christmas time, you always have groups where you try to do a little, you know, gift giving or you swap names, but you have a, you know, a 10 or $20 limit. So these are some things that can be a little less expensive. This year, also on our lift, we have a whole column that was, I believe, 25 things under $10. So it's things that we're talking about, but we've kind of put them in its own column so you can kind of look on there and see if there's specific things you like. So a few of those things are, you know, again, the playing cards. If you're a quilter and you meet with friends and you want to have some fun, funky, little quilt-related um, playing cards, we got a couple sets. Some of these things, I can't guarantee that we'll have any specific one in the shop at any time. Um, a lot of them, you know, they, they, we get in different sets. So we have the car coasters. Again, these are stone coasters that will go into the cup holders in your car. So if your water bottle or your soda cup is sweating, it'll absorb that moisture and keep your cup holder from not getting quite as goopy. Um, we have two new products. So one is a note card. It says quilt care instructions, machine, cold wash, delicate, lay flat or low, um, uh, tumble dry low snuggle often so basically it's just giving you the instructions on how to care for the quilt quilted project that you give someone they have the same instructions in a little it's a sew-in tag or you could sew it on the back of the quilt so it stays permanently on the quilt um, we still have a variety of the different little word search and puzzle books for quilters and there's a new one out now for knitters um, that one availability is, is hit, hit and miss, so I don't know if we'll always have that one in. Uh, we have, we like to have in a variety of puzzles at this time of year. Puzzles have gotten big, I think with COVID, they became very popular. Kate Facet has come out with two puzzles this year, so they're kind of unique, uh, look pretty difficult. <laughs> and then we just have some other fun ones. Again, these are things that will be, um, you know, a, a variety of them. I can't guarantee that we'll have any specific one in at any specific time. And then one with the ladies quilting. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before is with the, when I did the demo for the table runner and we had the Tri-Rex tool that gives you that spiky point. I also designed up just another little table runner um, using that, that block. So again, if you look at here, if I fold this down, right there is going to be that spiky block that's going to give those circles that sharp point. Okay. So it's just another little, uh, project pattern for if you have the, a Trirex ruler or you end up getting one, a secondary thing to do with them. Um, and then, Hey, Facet has also come out with some umbrellas for the year. Okay, so this is the K Facet umbrella. There's two different designs, um, this one and one that's a little bit lighter with some colored dots on it. Okay, so if you're needing a new umbrella, it's just kind of a fun, funky little thing to have in your purse. And of course, we always have our sewing basket mugs. Um, we have the, the lime green, and then we also have in kind of a hunter green with our logo on them. Um, but it's a great little item, $9.99. You can put a little, you know, some fat quarters or, or other notions in there. Makes a cute little gift. 
And then lastly, for those of you, I'm sure most of you already know, we are in the current issue of the quilt sampler. So we do have those available at the shop. And then the quilt behind me is um, the quilt, our project that is in the magazine. And we also have those kits available in the shop. So I hope I was able to show you a few new things, remind you of a few old things, and you have a great holiday season this year. Remember that you can download any of the forms that you want. You can mail them in and then we will make copies and hard mail those Santa's wish lists to whoever you provide us the address for. Um, we found that the people love getting that sheet of paper in the mail in their hand. They're, it's not an email, it is hard mailed to them. And it just makes it so much easier for them to know exactly what you want. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.